Hello there, it's the Fabled Arpuna with another great baggy hunt. Another armor set with a different lance. Now, I want to show you a little thing about sometimes uh, when you... What is better sometimes... Uh, okay, start over, let's see if I can explain this properly. The difference between upgrading and forging, and in some cases where the forging might be a beneficial to you over the upgrading the previous weapon. Uh, sorry, this particular weapon in particular. This particular weapon in particular, yeah, that sounds great. Uh, the Longhorn Spear. Okay, let's go to the smithy and I will show you what I mean. Now, you could upgrade this weapon, but there's a problem. Well, it's not a problem, it's just a nitpick about it. So if you upgrade, or try to upgrade this weapon, you require, for the Longhorn Spear Plus, Monster Bone, bone Elves. Okay, don't have any now. End up to not that easy to buy now, you have to uh, go for the Brawth Hunt and get them from the main rewards. However, if you try to forge it, it's accessible here. It has more materials overall, but it doesn't require any Monster Bone on Elves, just Monster Bone S, M, Killer Beetles, four of them, I have a few of them hanging around. I can do with uh, I can use them up, it's not a problem, uh, they're easy to gather, pretty much, from the swamp, the, the flooded forest area. So yes, sometimes, in some cases, rather than upgrading the weapon you have, you probably are better off uh, forging it the next stage directly, which is what I'm going to do here. Of course, right now I can't upgrade it, but I can actually forge the Longhorn Spear. It's a bit of a curiosity. It's not the only weapon that has this uh, particular problem. Yeah, let's call it a problem. For lack of a better description of it. Because, yeah, yeah, it does require less materials. Uh, just bones, doesn't require any killer beetles. But still, it uh, requires a material that's pretty much harder to get than the... than the beetles themselves. And they're pretty much easy to gather with a bug net and going. Uh, gathering the flooded forest as well price this, this is cost directly 10,500 zenny the upgrade now it costs less the pricing of the uh, bet less than half but the cumulative pricing of building up to the longhorn spear standard could go over the 1500 and it also depends on how much money you have anyway. So right now I'm going to go for the forge rather than the upgrade. I'm going to equip it. And now I'm going to upgrade this new lance, forged lance, to the other of the three possible options this one has that I showed on the previous episode. This time the Kubulu Muruka. Set paralysis weapon, and this is the reason why I'm wearing the Banabra arm set. Could upgrade this further? No, I need Barioth and Giganox parts. The fears and more. Would I, uh, will I get any of those if I with all the hats I'm going to do? Other option is a nice raw attack compared to the other weapons. It's uh, nice. It's 299, which is pretty much the highest of uh, all the lances. It's on equal terms with the Knight Lance. Oh, sorted it. Only. Sharpness. It's the lowest of sets. Uh, all we need to sharpen. That's the only good downside. Could go with the Rogi Armor set, but then I wouldn't get the boost to the Paralysis. So you have to choose what you prefer. Sharpening and extra sharpness, or trying to pull off the status faster. Well, other than that, we're pretty much ready to go. See any Amsoniac this time round? Nope. So we'll go with these two. Ah, that polisher here, that's all come in handy. Actually, yes, you can always mix, uh, mix, uh, mix meat and fish to get the first and saute it. 
and get the polisher. So fix skill there will show us up, I believe. Punisher Moxie. Moxie is a skill. Yeah, I don't think I will ever use it, at least in this stage of the game. Maybe later on. And we hunt another great baggy. Now here I'm not sure how is it going to fare. It could go faster, it could go slower. There's a mix of uh, advantages and disadvantages. The lack of sharpness being one of the disadvantages. The fact that I can actually paralyze the monster. And that it does have a decent base raw attack. It's another advantage. Okay, one of these. Still haven't managed to get a talisman that gives me an extra 5 points in the status boost. Will be even better for these weapons and this arm set. Ah, failed to pull off the... Not much uh, paralysis coming out from the lance, actually. Okay, that's nice. What? Oh, I've got spit again, so the animation started over. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay. Oh, come on. I'm <laughs> just so annoying. I even didn't, didn't even try to sharpen the uh, counter. Oh come on, the every effect of those things sometimes are really annoying. Everything about these monsters are annoying. It's annoying actually. Sharpened, try to sharpen. A bit of a uh, how is coming out here and then. Nice, let's try to position myself on the head. Would have been nicer if I managed to pull it off when I was drooling.
Hmm, I managed to break that. Nice. Pig line charmer. Random, but mostly useful. Line throw. Oh, hit it. Let's try, I guess, as well. Yeah. Would have been funny if I managed to get the kill as it landed. I'm not sure if I man will manage to get second parallel. Oh, speaking of the devil, should get a kill now. Not going to bother. Yeah, there we go. So yes, yeah, pretty much quick kill. Not the fastest, but still faster than other than the other lances. Some of the other lances. Golden bones, extra zinni, more account items, bloodstones. So far, not single light crystal. Again, blue ones are better for that. Will I get this in time? I don't think so. Well, Cissium, good, arm spears. One plus version. But still, no light crystals. Yep, yeah, more Chris. Not that much of bones. Nothing real, no really noticeable here. So yes, this has been the favourite Arpuna, hunting the Great Baggy with the Paralysis Lance, the Kubulo Muruka. See you next time with another lance, and good hunting.